Good. Can everybody quiet down for just a minute? You. What? Everybody, we want to bring the house, we want to bring everything down for just a minute. Listen up. So, uh, there's a, a really imper uh, important person who's not here tonight, but we're going to bring her in uh, via uh, her words. So, uh, Jan Daly is somebody that uh, recorded and played with Stefan for a number of years in Song Tower, and then she was part of the Ditch Riders. And uh, she recently moved to, to Massachusetts. And uh, we're going to bring her in here tonight because we're going to bring our friend Lori Zimmerman up, and she's going to read something that Jan wrote. The uh, bass player from the Brain Damage Orchestra, and she's going to read a letter that Jan wrote uh, at, a, at, a, at a private uh, service that, that uh, we had for Stefan uh, back in early September. And so we want to bring Jan in, and we really need to have the house really quiet. So everybody in the back, can we get everybody in the back just to be, to be really quiet for just uh, a few minutes, and then the band will be on, you can yak all you want, because, you know, that's that kind of group. This is Lori Zimmerman. Hi, everybody. I haven't been on stage in uh, at least 22 years, so I'm a little nervous. And um, I was at school high. <laughs> um, I was the bass player, and they never actually let me on a microphone. <laughs> I know just what you're Much talking. like Jim. And when I read this at the funeral service, um, I accidentally tossed my glasses into the drink, <laughs> the vault where the ashes were going to go. So I'm going to try to hang on to them, and please close your eyes and listen to our lovely songbird, Miss Jan Daly from Boston. Hey, just go quiet in the back if we can, please. This is called The Road Song for Stefan. Oh, Stefan. Oh, my brother. I can hardly believe that you aren't still sitting in your Mabel Street house, popping a beer, then settling in to spin lyrics from mere words or bowls from clay. I think you are just too heart-weary to perform your chosen forms of alchemy without your beloved muse to inspire and support you. Lord knows I've had a rough time without Lavinia's stalwart devotion, Zen candor, and Mary cackling to get me through the tougher moments of the last 19 months. For you, though, her absence was like a road song that you couldn't ignore coming in on the cosmic radio and leading you to the ultimate road trip. Let me tell you, brother, you know I never had one growing up, that I miss you already. And just like a brother by birth, you could certainly be a cranky-ass moaner sometimes. <laughs> At least you did even that with creativity and spark. Mostly, though, I will remember the genuine kindness you showed me through the years. How you two opened your house for me to stay with you when I needed a new perspective more than once. How you feigned borrowing my 74 Corolla the one with the droopy vinyl interior for a couple hours once and returned it totally transformed with bamboo interior roofing. The Tiki Toyota! <laughs> or the time you and Lala surprised me by transforming my house into a lighting palooza wonderland for my birthday while I was out for dinner. You usually kept your good guy acts on the down low, as if it would ruin your craggy blues reputation if folks discovered the ways you extended yourself, giving discounted and occasionally free lessons to aspiring players, performing endless benefits and free gigs for political and green causes, humbly hosting and celebrating other great Tucson players when your own superlative talents were occasionally a bit overlooked. But I'm a witness, old friend, to your more than random acts of kindness. I caught you being a good guy, often. So, yes, your Scottish temper was perhaps legendary, but I will remember you most for your even more abundant laughter and for the, all the harmony you brought to my life. It must have been sometime around 1989 when you, Lavinia, and I sat down around the table in your back room, which is also how brain damage started. Cracked a bottle of Four Roses and tried to sing a few songs together. The songs were lovely, drawing on folk, country, blues, and rock influences, but they were a bit too mellow 
to be rendered by the boisterous BDO. That first night when White Bread was born, later known as Song Tower because some white rapper dude from New York City threatened to sue us for the name, secretly thrilling us that anyone in New York City knew who we were. We were a bit tentative at first, but as the four roses bloomed and we figured out that Lala's voice worked best as the glue in the middle, while I went for the top notes, we harmonized for hours and hours. There is magic in blended voices, a kind of resonance that stirs the oldest part of our creature consciousness and soothes the soul. I basked in that mellifluous, vibrating tone for a couple of decades, and will always think of your songs as the soundtrack of my life, as many of us do. So off you go, road warrior, to meet up with your warrior princess. This trip is a bit longer than the 16-hour drives to Kerrville that we always did straight through, usually with Lavinia and myself taking turns at the wheel and napping while you regaled your driving duo with tales of a feisty upstate New York youth or the history of Scottish poetry or the proper temperature for firing clay or Christ, just about any possible topic under the sun. Your intellect was broad, your wit a dagger, and your laughter, well, it was hearty and contagious. Thanks so much, Stefan, for being my loyal and true friend. Thanks for all the years of harmony. Choose love, you sang on the Ditch Writers album. It's that advice that, that advice that I will take. I love you, I love Lavinia. I loved us all together on this planet and look forward to some kind of reunion concert when I take that ultimate road trip. I'm sure you'll have some great stories to tell me by then. And until that ride, I will still feel our harmony and allow it, allow it to resonate in the deepest part of my soul. Goodbye for now, my brother. Good journey. Jan Daly. And now I hope everybody has a drink because this is a special song uh, written by son of brain damage for his uncle Stefan. So, let's have a toast. This song, I, I don't know the, the music, just the words so far. Now that you're gone, there is no more bottle. The legend that you left behind it is colossal. But now you're back with the love of your life, your beautiful soulmate, your wonderful wife. I cannot believe that you're gone already, but the weight you were carrying, it was so heavy. Now that you're gone, we'll all raise a bottle and sing along. Your memory lives on, we'll all be together before too long. Everyone could see you were so tired, so it all made sense that you finally retired. Now you are in such a better place, I know that you have a smile on your face. Now that you're gone, we'll all raise a bottle and sing along. Your memory lives on. We'll all be together before too long. Did it, Brain Damage. All right, so uh, Stefan wasn't really one, or one for uh, overt political songs, but uh, he wrote this one. And uh, it's as uh, relevant today as it was when you wrote it back in 
Bye.